Hey everyone, it's John with the Active Towns channel and I am in downtown Austin, Texas, uh, rolling through the South by Southwest 2024 uh, activities. So I thought I'd uh, let you see what this looks like. It's actually Monday, March 11th. 2024 so uh, yeah it's the Monday activity I missed the first weekend I'll try to catch the second weekend uh, but yeah let's swing this around and check it out One of the things that I always love about uh, South by Southwest is uh, you know you've got tens of thousands of people coming into town for the conference, uh, the film festival, and the music, and all the other activities that take place with South by Southwest. And without a doubt, the best way to get into the city as well as around the city is by walking, biking, scootering, transit, most certainly not driving a personal vehicle. And the fact that we have a very safe and inviting all ages and abilities network uh, going right through the downtown area here. We're on the Third Street Protected Bikeway, which has been in place since I believe 2013. It really makes all the difference in the world. little bit after uh, 5 p.m. and so we're also getting a, a fair amount of foot traffic and vehicular traffic from people getting off work as well. And you'll see the convention center dead ahead with the South by Southwest banner. We'll make our way past this uh, little valet parking area here. And you'll probably notice that we do have advanced uh, green wave signal for the bike lane here. We're able to roll right through, which is quite nice. And you may have noticed that the police do have this portion of 3rd Street blocked off, turning it into kind of a pedestrian plaza area. Just because of all the intensity of human activity down here. And again, the number of uh, pedestrians down in this area gets quite intense, so I make sure that I am uh, pedaling as slowly as possible and trying to make sure that I give way to uh, those pedestrians. We do see a pretty steady stream of scooter traffic as well as pedicabs along the bikeway here. And I'll also call your attention to the plaza here on 4th Street. We've got the food trucks in place, and so they have converted that into a pedestrian plaza area, which is quite nice. That used to be open to motor vehicles a few years ago, so it's really nice to have 4th Street be uh, completely car free. You can see a lot of the bikes locked up to the fencing along the way there. And that was the uh, downtown station slash convention center area. We're gonna be continuing to roll east here on the 4th Street cycle path, the Crosstown cycle path. And uh, actually uh, we, we see that the road is actually closed here. So uh, other than the people who are trying to get through for some particular reason, um, I could have rolled right through because the road is technically closed. And here we go. You'll see in the distance uh, the I-35 Interstate Highway, the notorious I-35. We'd love to have that torn down and removed. At the very least, have it buried and have the city stitched back together again. But really, we don't need it in the downtown area. It could easily be diverted around. And this is our challenge, is getting across the 
frontage roads here. That wasn't too bad getting across that frontage road. And we're heading into the near east side here. And you'll notice a lot of housing off to the left here, as well as some shopping. You've got quite a few businesses that are now in place in addition to all the people who live along this way now. And you do see lots and lots of people here in this space. Many people are, you know, heading home from a day of work as well as uh, going to and from the South by Southwest activities. It's just really fun to see all the activity. And nice motorist yielding to me. That was very nice of him to do that. And again, this is a little after 5 p.m. on a Monday. Certainly nowhere near as intense as it gets during South by Southwest, but definitely wanted to show you what this was like on a Monday late afternoon, early evening. South by Southwest 2024. It'd be interesting here to see if uh, Cosmic Coffee is sort of uh, taken off. I'm calling it coffee. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not Cosmic Coffee. Maybe it's just the Cosmic. Looking pretty cool there. Oh yeah, they're rocking. Lots and lots of people. You just have to love trailside dining, trailside establishments as well as trailside development as i like to say the other tod all right well i hope you enjoyed that little uh, glimpse into south by southwest 2024 thank you all so much for tuning in i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below and share it with a friend until next time, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.